We need to talk about DuckTales 2017. So you must be wondering, why? Why do I suddenly want to talk about DuckTales 2017? Because it's one of the greatest modern cartoons and deserves to be more appreciated? Perhaps because I absolutely love the show, want to proclaim my love for the show to all. Well, yes, but mostly because I'm a passive-aggressive little she. You see, there are some people I know, by which I mean everyone I know, who refuse to watch DuckTales, when not only is it a great show, it's the kind of show they would like. When I asked a friend why, she said, because it's DuckTales, and she doesn't like Mickey Mouse cartoons. Now I have nothing against personal taste, but this seems unfair to me, as it means no matter how good DuckTales 2017 is, they will never watch it. And so, today, here I am, to make a case for DuckTales, to show why it is as good as it is. DuckTales! To start off with, DuckTales is really funny. Plain and simple. You can clearly tell the writers and voice actors had fun while making this, and it is fun. The show is wildly entertaining, not ov only overall, but even on an episode-to-episode -episode basis. You can pick almost any episode and have a good time watching it. The humor in this show is really clever. There are large repeating jokes, like about how old Scrooge is, or about how Donald can't talk at all, ever. And there are more detailed things, like how Scrooge's business partners are literal vultures. But where the show really shines is in the dialogue. I'll talk more about character later, but the varied and distinct personalities of the cast bouncing off of each other just creates hilarious moments. The characters work well together and have a lot of energy and chemistry on screen. Launchpad is one of the funniest characters in the whole show, just by himself. Beakley, on the other hand, is more serious and only has a few jokes. But when you put them together on screen, it creates some of the best moments. Oh, if you're having trouble with utensils, I'm more than happy to help. Oh no, I got this, Mrs. B. I really could go on and on about the humor, but it's a subjective thing, so instead of just talking about it, I'll just show you some of my favorite jokes. What? What are your blood types? What's Donald really like? Who's the evil triplet? Louie. <laughs> British and funny! Whoa! This feels like the beginning of a great creative partnership! Ah, oh, cool! A big budget reboot of a thing I loved as a kid! Those are always great! Sorry, I'm late. Fenton! There you are! You just missed a gizmo duck flyby! <gasps> Your gizmo duck! Chewie, I didn't say anything! Hi, I'm Levy! Nice to see you! Does your suit have a toilet? <sighs> now, let's see who you really are. <gasps> Me? Whoa, what a twist! What? I never saw that coming! Wait, haven't you seen this episode? 75 times, but never in a parking lot. Every character in this show is amazing. Period. The characters all have vibrant and colorful personalities, and like I said earlier, they play off each other well. But they don't just do so for humor, they play off each other for emotion as well. You can believe the conflicts that are happening between them, it feels real. The emotional beats really hit home. I wish I could say more about the emotion in this show, but I really don't want to spoil anything, as those moments are ruined if I explain them. The characters also just have great personalities. Just for reference, let's look at characters from the original. And now, the reboot. Well, Louis is obviously the best of the brothers, he loves gold, and he's a swindler. He can, quote, talk his way out of anything, and he's a lazy piece of garbage. Dewey is the most reckless and loves adventure. He's also kind of nervous and sometimes a little dumb, but he tries. And he's the most like his... Huey is smart and weird, and a bit of a perfectionist, but he's also the voice of reason of the group. 
I could go on, but these are only the main characters. Every character is great. Even the characters that only show up in one or two episodes, like Don Carnage, the singing sky pirate, or Storculus, the dumb but lovable god. But these characters aren't just personalities. They're deeper as well. More three-dimensional. Just like... I'm gonna have to make a whole section on him, or I'm just gonna talk about him the entire video, aren't I? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, fine. Ah, uh, yes. Fenton Crackshell Cabrera. The best character. Fight me. Originally, Scrooge's accountant, whose only character trait, as far as I can tell, I actually haven't seen that much of the original, is just that he's dumb and has a super suit. Fenton is a character who became my favorite in his first scene. Because in 2017, Fenton is dumb, but he's not just dumb. In fact, he's actually smart. He's an intern who's awkward and clumsy and makes stupid, obvious mistakes. He tries so hard, but he always slips up, no matter what. He wants to tell people. That's all he wants. That's why I like Fenton. It's why I like all of 2017's characters. 2017 took a one-note but passable character and turned it into something relatable but still fun. And also me in every single way. And I think Fenton is the best example to show how good the characters are, not just because he's the best character with the best episode, fight me, but because he's interesting, he's compelling, his character arc is a joy to watch every time, and it's the same for all of the characters. All of the characters are great. All of them are fun to watch. It's just that Fenton is the best one. Gizmoduck does it. I am better than Gizmoduck. Dang, the plot of this show is so good. I know I started out every section by saying that thing is good, but it's true. Episode to episode plots are simple and bite-sized, so you can enjoy at almost any time. And the overarching plot is mysterious, intriguing, and surprisingly tense. The episode plots usually focus on one character and are ridiculous and fun and somewhat a parody of adventure stories of similar caliber, like Indiana Jones. My favorite example of that is the Whoa! Wait, what? Ah! Louie almost dies! Can we please move it along? That's how it goes! The show feels like an adventure story. It feels like a kid's cartoon, similar to Fairly Odd Parents, but it also feels like something new. The overarching plot is quite interesting. I like the way it builds slowly out of time. If you miss an episode, you don't usually miss too much information. It kinda changes in season 2, but that's to be expected. The story is meant to build up more. But the story feels like a natural build. It's hard to explain the overarching plot without explaining the overarching plot and spoiling everything. So... I won't. You should just go watch it for yourself. Everything about DuckTales 2017 is amazing. The humor, the characters, the plot, even technical stuff like the animation and the voice acting is just stellar. I really can't sing this show's praises enough. But I can sing this show's praises all I want. It's nothing to watching the actual thing. DuckTales 2017 is something you have to experience. It's something you have to see. I only scratched the surface in this video with how good the show is. I can only hope my writing is this good one day. DuckTales 2017 is something that took the characters, plot, and ideas of the original and not only expanded on them, but ran with them. It's not just a simple Mickey Mouse cartoon. It has something for everyone. Adventure, action, comedy, fantasy, sci-fi, parody. DuckTales 2017 is practically a perfect show. With only one flaw. That it won't be back until September! I